In this video, you are going to learn all about Technetium 99M. First, let's start with some basics. Well, it's a radioisotope which is used in medicine. And did you know that the M at the end indicates that it is a metastable nuclear isomer? Technetium 99M is radioactive, therefore it produces radiation. The radiation it produces is gamma rays. Gamma rays is the strongest form of radiation and has multiple uses, but in this case it is used for diagnostic medical purposes in nuclear medicine. So how is Technetium 99M used in medicine? Well, did you know that it is the most commonly used isotope in nuclear medicine and is used to detect cancerous growth or used for scans of the heart, spleen, liver, thyroid, bone, lymph node and more? Did you know that Technetium 99M has a short half-life of 6 hours? So as soon as it has been made in the nuclear reactor, it is sent off to hospitals for medical purposes very quickly. It is used by injecting Technetium 99M into the patient. And then a gamma ray camera is used to scan the body to pick up the radioisotope description from the gamma rays emitted. When there are high concentrations of gamma rays, it indicates the illness. So you now must be curious, what are the benefits of using Technetium 99M? It can be used for many different scans to detect harmful diseases, and early detection of these diseases could prevent illness or death. Another benefit is that the amounts used in diagnostic testing isn't toxic, Therefore, it won't cause too much harm on the patient and there is an extremely small chance of negative effects compared to other medical tests. Also, as mentioned before, Technetium 99M has a short half-life of 6 hours. Therefore, after diagnostic tests, it won't remain in the body for too long. There are also some problems which are involved in using Technetium 99M. Some of these problems include exposure to TC99M is very small, but possibility of developing cancer or leukemia in the patient. Also, the radiation that goes into the patient stays with them for a day or so, and this can cause secondhand radiation to others. Because TC99M has a half-life of six hours, it means that it needs to be constantly produced in the nuclear reactors, and this is an issue as the waste from the reactor is dangerous. Even though this problem of using Technetium 99M are presented, the benefits can overweigh them. This is because some of the problems can be resolved or managed to not cause harmful effects. Also, some of the benefits can lead to detecting dangerous diseases before they become too harmful. And by detecting these diseases early, medication and treatment can be done to eradicate, prevent spread or control from becoming worse. Therefore, it gives you the ability to have the knowledge to take the necessary steps to save your life. Thank you for watching, I hope you've learned something new.